Uh oh, looks like we're in against Lantern here. Hmm. So we want to go. Green. I guess we'll just go green white, might as well. Wild Nakatl. That does kind of change things. So take four on turn two, and then next turn we can Mood of Alt, Honor of the Pure, Loam Lion, and then we can slam a Johnny and start doing that. I mean, the opponent, if they have Ensnaring Bridge, they have to deal with this Pride Mage. Otherwise, we can just break the bridge. Oh, that's not even what this is. Is this... What is this? I thought it was Lantern. Their codex shredding me. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on now. Well, I guess I don't play Honor this turn anymore. Let's play the other two creatures. Attack here. They missed their land drop. Tempted to kill that prism, but not really. Next turn we have more than lethal. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You can attack for sixteen next turn. Putting the pressure on. Uh, that is not going to be enough. It's like blue white open the vaults. Is that what this is? Take 16, go to negative 5. Meow. Alright, so I guess they have a lot of artifact stuff. Um, we want Oblivion Ring and Relic Water and Stony Silence. And 
given that all the artifacts draw cards when they come to play, I'm pretty sure this is open the vaults, in which case rest in peace is really good. So I think we just have a really good sideboard um, against this deck. I don't think we're going to need Path to Exile, Shining Shawl. I don't think we need any of that stuff. We also have Pride Mage, which uh, I'm not sure if that's good. I think it's mostly like Rest in Peace and Stony Silence. I think those are the, the main sideboard cards. Hmm. And the rest of this stuff, I guess we don't really need to increase our clock with a card like Honor. We'd rather just our cards be threats or uh, these type of things. I think Oblivion Ring is worth it. I think they might have a key card to answer. Oh, let's do this. White has the best sideboard options in modern, in case you uh, were unaware. And I'm not just saying that because everybody knows white is my favorite color. All right, this looks good. I'll keep. Curve Nicotyl into Stony into Brimaz. Sure. Lotus Bloom. Um, hmm. Got to do all this figuring out what my sequencing of lands is going to be. Uh, I guess we go with green white first. Old friend, wild nacatl. Won me a PTQ for Honolulu 2009, back when Extended was the format instead of Modern. This is before Modern. I played a, a Naya Wild Nacatl deck with like Molten Rain, Tarmogoyf, Nacatl. It was right after Nacatl got printed, and I won the PTQ and have played Wild Nacatl in the Alara Block Pro Tour. Honolulu 2009, and I've played in every single Pro Tour since. So I think I go with Red White. Opponent might concede to the Stony Silence. So, fair warning. All takes, I might just take a Wild Nacatl and a Stony Silence. We got Brimaz coming up next in case it's not. Lotus Bloom is not going to be great with a stony silence out. Maybe they have an answer to stony. Maybe they have like echoing truth. They're like, oh, we'll just sack our artifacts, draw some cards. Oh, wait, what? Oops, nope. <laughs> Not happening. And step echoing truth to Stony. Yep, called it. All right, so now, uh, now that they know Stony's coming back down next turn, they kind of have to go for it. I think. Played another Lotus Bloom. 
Uh oh. They going for it. They going. Surgical extraction in response on the ironworks. Oh, they're just casting it. Yeah. You can play the uh, the blue trap, mind whatever, mind break trap. Counter their faith reward. It'd be kind of a blowout. Reshape x equals one. Codex shredder. Interesting. So basically sit here and uh, watch and see what the opponent does. Obviously, if they didn't have that echoing truth, they could do absolutely nothing. So our sideboard is good. We have four rest in peace, two stonies. So basically six cards that they can't win the game without echoing truthing it off the board. We're gonna let them go through their their thing and have their fun. I think our chances of winning this game are like one percent. In case they just draw like seven cards and don't hit like a faith's reward. Second sunrise was banned um, because this deck was deemed uh, too powerful back when uh, fellow vegan won the pro tour with it chess champion now I think he just plays hearthstone so the opponent is certainly doing more stuff than us we played three cards first turn, second turn, third turn, and now the opponent's going off. Um, I like her chances next game, though, because like I said, we have six cards that win the game. So if we draw like a Rest in Peace and a Stony Silence, I think it'll be really tough for the opponent to win. What's this card read? Return to the battlefield all permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Oh, Emrakul. Uh, I guess that's that's good enough. Got it. I see how you win now. So interestingly enough, we we could attack them for some damage, uh, get in the early damage, and then they try to go off, and then they try to Emrakul us, and we just Shining Shoal, pitching like, you know, the five drop guy, and then Shining Shoal again, pitch another five drop guy, have all ten damage from Emrakul go back to you. Um, that would be a line. I think that might be better than, say, Oblivion Ring. 
um, or a Johnny. I think that's better than Lightning Bolt too. Um, I think it has higher upside of damage. If there's anything else we want. I guess Relic Water is reasonable enough to leave in. Just to get rid of one of their things so they can't sack it. They need a certain threshold of artifacts. And so if we just get rid of their, you know, Chromatic Star or something that they played on turn one, it's just a reasonable tempo play. It's not great like it is in some matchups, but I think it's good enough. Yeah, I think this is about where we want to be. I'm thinking about Honor of the Pure, Lightning Bolt. I don't think so. I think we need enough like creatures. All right, so we have Nakato Rest in Peace, Burmaz this time. Basically the same draw as last time, except we have Rest in Peace instead of uh, Stony Silence, which um, is maybe a little worse because they can still sack the artifacts to cycle to draw cards to try to find the Echoing Truth. So I'm going to go with um, Green White first. Lotus Bloom, Chromatic Sphere. Oh, this is going to obscure it. All right, so we'll just know that they have a Lotus Bloom. Unfortunately, double rest in peace doesn't stop, uh, doesn't help us when their answer is Echoing Truth. They might have a different answer as well. And if they have that other answer, then it would be beneficial. But at this point, we're we're casting Burmaz because the added clock is uh, more important. Since we know that they have Echoing Truth, because that's how they um, kept from dying last game. So another thing to keep in mind is um, since we're at 14, if they attack us for 15 with Emrakul and we only have like Shining Shoal Rest in Peace in hand, we can only um, redirect two. So in order to avoid the game from being a draw, we need to not go below 14 until we draw a larger spell. The pitch to Shining Shoal. Okay, so we drew just another Shining Shoal, which also works. So now we have Lethal next turn. And Emrakul, 
suppose I could just keep going. Uh, I think playing the rest in peace is wrong here. So that's going to come in now. Now this is the turn where they're going to go for it, I think. They have to Echoing Truth first. Destroy all enchantments. You gain one life for each enchantment destroyed this way. Okay. So their other answer also would deal with both, so not that big a deal. Now they go for it, and we kind of have to rely on our plan working. We can Shining Shoal to prevent two da to redirect two, and then Shining Shoal again to redirect two, uh, and then we would have to sacrifice six permanents. So that would be everything except Brimaz. So we'd redirect four damage to the opponent, they'd go to four, and then we would Brimaz attack, get a, a cat token, and it would be four damage. So that's the plan. So they have what they fizzled, now they have Echoing Truth for the Lotus Bloom. Is that what's happening? I'm not sure, but I'm going to sack this. No. Okay, so we did draw another two drop. Start by attacking. Should they let us attack? Interesting. So are they just dead now? This is eight damage. All right, well, that was it. <laughs> I, I thought we were gonna try to win uh, with that Shining Shoal plan, but as it turns out, we just defeated them. Good games.